This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co and Kosumi, Ife Omai, and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. You sound like you're tired of us. Uh, oh I have my co and Kosumi. I'm tired of everything. No, you're so <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tired. I want to sleep. So, but it's okay. It's good, though. Sleepy. Yeah, well, nah, well, these this topics are going to wake you up. Yeah, I think so, yeah. You're going to... Okay. Mm. Do you think? Okay, let's see how it goes. So, what's the first topic for the day? Nigerian comedian Francis Agoda. I hope that's how he pronounces it. Agoda. His, name. Agoda. Mm -mm. His son name. Oh, okay, Francis Agoda. Oh, right. Agoda. Popularly known as Agoda, has donated oh, right, his right. mansion to the federal government to be used as coronavirus isolation center. Urging the federal government to be proactive if we hope to win this global war, he was. He said his donation is his personal quest to assist in the control, prevention, isolation, and treatment of those diagnosed or to be treated in the course of finding a lasting solution. He appealed to Nigerians to take this matter seriously as COVID-19 is real and has claimed over one million lives globally. He, he's also calling for an extension of the lockdown by two weeks to enable government to treat existing cases and curb further spread by those who may have contacted the disease. Selflessness. If you don't mind clapping for a good day, he needs to go and do a party. No, no, who is a real. solo party? No, no, no. That's, that's a selfless act right there because um, not everyone would do that. Everybody would be like, oh, my mansion, how, how easy is it going to be for me to sanitize it when this is all over? You know, people would think about themselves so first. Think you three days and everything would die of this coronavirus and it's a door. Mm. So, you know, I just love the fact that he's doing this and I think all the celebrities should take a cue from this. I, it's really amazing that somebody's being this selfless in this selfish moment. Uh, okay, so... In the selfish <laughs> times. <laughs> One thing I really like about this type of giving, away from the, that the fact that you're giving is good, well done, is that it's sufficient and sustainable. So my issue sometimes with food and money is that they run out. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not very... This is something that you can embark on for a long time. Like, I've, I haven't heard from about the... Uh, Baki W's thingy anymore. It's supposed to be every day for how many days, blah, 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 blah. I don't see it I anymore. Think it's still if it is, I don't yeah. know if it still has that much impact, if it's getting to the right people, and all of that type of stuff. But this type of giving is just so mwah. Because it, until the pandemic is over, it will always help someone. That's if they use it for what it's supposed Before you know it now, the government will use it for staff quotas for, for the time being. <laughs> I, <don't>, <laughs> I, I think a lot of people should take a cue from him because we have many houses in our Abuja and in Lagos, at least that I know of and have seen, that are empty, locked, Can I shake another abandoned. table if in, in, in that regard? Mm -hmm. We should also start bringing out churches to do that as well. Mm -hmm. There's beautiful, massive church house on the no, rock, mosque. for example. What about Elevation mosque? church, what mosque. But the thing is, mosque is that always use just one space. That's it. Yeah, don't yeah, they'll, partition. they'll partition it. Uh, okay. uh, we, have, we will donate plywood. Tea time. <laughs> you people just pick the mosque. We, we, use the, we will donate the plywood. Well, you partition. heard that. So well, yeah, I think a lot of people need to yeah. help in this regard. Quarantine um, centers as well. Remember we were talking about how... Mm. Sorry, I keep interrupting you. Mm, it's fine. Sorry. I just want people to... People that have got these properties should um, to learn from him and do the needful because we have a lot of them. It's not that it, we can't start mm. counting them now. We don't want to mention names, but from politicians to entertainers, you know, to real estate moguls and owners, this is the time to be selfless. Like if I said it in a selfish, is it country or situation? A selfish it? time. A selfish, selfish times. times. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So please um, learn from this and lend a helping hand. We need each other to fight and win this battle. It's not even a Nigerian thing. Mm. It's a global issue. So help, help us. We're begging. And really, even the uncompleted buildings, I don't know how safe uh, that is, but when you check, but when you check. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like but, he had to, But right? when you check, and you, that's why I said safety first. You know, mm. I, I Why would you it. go to uncompleted um, buildings? In case somebody says, oh, I don't want to leave my house, I don't want you to use my house, or they're being scared, or they're not educated so they enough. To, that uh, no, no, not that type of uncompleted. Come on, we have. Which type? Even in what do you mean? Now. Like, what type of uncomplete? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the ones that they haven't painted that we refer to as painted. uncompleted buildings, but have. Doors. Oh, it's just painting. Yeah, that just that just left with me. Painting is not uncompleted. Cemented. If you have the door, if you have everything, windows, doors, maintenance. No, but painted. you know, in this part of the world, we refer to them as uncompleted. No, buildings. you do. No, it's only you. Uncompleted <laughs> means that, like, you know, there's no roof and stuff. You guys just want to put me on the table, but don't okay. worry, that table ain't shaking or breaking. All right. Okay. All right. Do you want to add? No, more? it's fine. Okay. I mean, I was going to say when I was interrupting you that. Um, 
they could also use it for to quarantine people. Remember when we we're talking about where to put the people that come into the country mm -hmm. after the lockdown? That's also a good way mm. to utilize spaces like that. So if you're thinking, oh, I don't want my house. Comfortable. Yeah, like maybe it's too much if I if, imagining that there's sick, sick people come into my house. You could also just keep, you know, your, ho your house that has rooms for people who are coming in from the country. Mm. Probably a good idea. All right, kudos to... Um I could die. die, but do you agree to the extended lockdown? Mm -hmm. you think we because I don't to? think um, anything has been done yet in terms of curbing the virus. Okay. And um, people are still not really, really... Like, the, the level of publicity about how serious and damaging the virus is should be more rigid. It should be more vigorous. Do you in understand? In Lagos or in the country? In, in the, the country. country. Okay. It should be more vigorous. I don't think the word is out there enough, yeah. which is why when there's this sudden death in Kano, they, they labeled it sudden death. Mm. Like, do you understand? Like, so you think it's coronavirus? I'm not saying. I'm just saying that they labeled, like, for all you care, it could be coronavirus. So if this Northerners already knew about the virus, mm. maybe they won't be, they, they will be scared. Because if such, if such a thing is happening in Lagos, the first thing that will come to mind is what? Because we have a little bit of yeah, information. Yeah, well, we had a doctor on the news in this last hour, that's four o'clock, and he was saying that um, the deaths usually go up in Kano when the heat starts. Mm. But however, this is now more and it calls for concern. Mm. So mm. they might be looking at it from that perspective as well. Mm. But of course, we know that there's COVID in. Oh, I feel like, let me not say we know that. I feel, until they come out to agree, I feel mm. like there is COVID in um, Kanu and a lot has to be done very fast before. I think now it's 40 per week. We don't know what will happen. The energy they put into can. campaigning and fake ballot boxes, they okay. should please put it into this. Mm. Okay. I'm not saying that one. I, I'm saying it. Moving on I'm not to even the scared. next story. French Montana says he has more hits than Kendrick Lamar. He said, and I quote, not because I am a better rapper or whatever it is, it's just that I got more hits. Kendrick Lamar got albums, he got masterpiece, but if you was to put us on the festival stage, I would outshine him because I have more hits than him. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Over to, I think this is Tim Kendrick, no, Tim French, French Montana. Montana, this is Tim Kendrick. Yeah. The floor is open. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you ask <laughs> me again. Hi, my name is Dipan. I like to convince you and not confuse you. Do you remember that intro? Yeah. We want to start an argument. That's like, good day panel of judges. A great timekeeper. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, you did that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, if you ask me, this is very controversial. I'm not asking you. Okay. Uh, but I think <laughs> if you go through French Montana's tweets okay. and everything he said, he, he made it clear that look i'm talking about his tracks only mm. i'm not comparing myself he did call himself a rapper though that, that I, mm. yeah of course he's a rapper but he's not saying that he is a better rapper than kendrick he said he would give every other thing to kendrick and he has down. masterpiece album. that he, he has the like album he has, yeah, he has exactly. the masterpieces but if it's about hit tracks and best collaborations as well i'm gonna give it to french montana it could get boring listening to just Kendrick Lamar, even though it's not, it's never boring listening to Kendrick okay. Lamar. It, it, but it could it's get boring. Wait, 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 listen. You're listen, not making my listen. job easy. It could get boring, but it is never boring. That is to me. Now, to somebody who is not interested in hip hop, yeah, it could get really, really boring just listening to one guy going at it, dropping hit tracks and dropping. But man, when I see you pull out a Chris Brown, you pull out a Drake, you pull out a Wheezy, if you pull out a Big Ross, you pull out a... Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. French Montana has a record, I hope this have not been able to convince people. Minus five marks from yours. Go ahead. Okay, so I have to agree that... I like the way he tweeted. I like that he, you know, was very clear to what regard. We've had this argument before about collaborations like this. I can't remember for the life of me now. I'm always saying Brimo and... No, else. Jarul and 50 Cent. No, no, it wasn't. Because we were talking about conscious music and pop music. We were saying ah. that one person sang, the songs were too serious, while the other person's song was more commercial. Okay. I can't mm, remember who true. that person was. somebody. Brian Moore and someone, yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's what's happening here. Um, I think that French Montana has more commercial, di commercial digestible music, so. more, than, more so than... Um, 
Kendrick. But I think Kendrick music is more important to the world. Like, if Jose was actually blessed, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think French Montana's um, songs are very. What would I call it now? Less conscious. I think he actually has a meaning to his songs well, as not, well. Well, some, some, like he has some, but he still has a lot. Of yeah, he has famous. famous. Yeah, I heard yeah. that today after you played it. Mm -hmm. He does have some some more Content, songs, but yeah. uh, Kendrick just is more of a. I don't know, more of an input. I don't know, his music just He's has a... He's a deep guy. Yeah. If you're not on his no, level, look, you're not, not on his dragging. level. Look, that's why we're calling Kendrick the legend. But okay, let's even talk about this hits. Let's even talk about this hits. We're, we're talking about, talking about commercial thing. songs, and okay. which is yeah. what hit records are. I will also now bring that to the hits thing. I think that the, the argument of having hits, to me, is so weak because... A lot of the times, for your song to become hits, it's not even about the music anymore. So it's a very flimsy it's argument. Sales, it's about, about sales, merchandise, streamings, it is and everything has a part to play. So like and if Elsie now, was dancing to it as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so for example now with Beyonce where her, most of her music since 2014 was entitled she's probably not going to get as many hits on the hits mm. list so coming out to say this like what does this actually mean and what water is it holding especially when a um, an artist is also an artist who's claiming to be a rapper mm. is also involving himself in that type of competition but where we it's need not to based on the art as well from the eyes of um, French Montana because I don't think he is looking at that website or that hit creators he's looking at it from about his on being on stage you know his own perspective side side. and being able to carry everybody along so, and having, like, well, so he's not, not looking at i'm not even sure okay he's so if that's outside. the case and i completely yeah. disagree because if it's that it's based on his own um in his, um, his own mindset, it's not the billboard. I thought we were talking about mm -hmm. literal hits no, because we know, have. We were even hits. talking about what we listen to, what we digest yeah. as the not fans. Not what a platform has put together. Not what a platform. He's not thinking no, we're talking about, about what, like, if you're in a concert right now and they I say don't really, Kendrick I don't really drop, listen. and they say I Kendrick can't. drop one song after he performs that song, they say French Montana, who's going to outdo? I'm not going to put my my. I don't. I don't think I'm going to put value on the type of music because even if it's been Dalinson came up this, I feel like I'll react the same. I'm Ooh. clubbing and I'm like having a good okay. time. Like that doesn't. Okay. Really okay. like so since we're getting the conversation has ended, since we're getting with it's French Montana, I saw somebody who tweeted that. Um, Anna Montana has more hits than French Montana. Someone said French fries has more hits. Than yeah, because his, if that's what you're going to say, then it's very, uh, like French Montana barely has French that Montana many hits. French Montana isn't even the most Montana with the, with the Montana with the most hits. And then coming from the angle you're coming from, someone also said that. You're, you're saying you have more hits than somebody who is not even concerned about each record yeah, for the not. value he's of not. music he's exactly. putting out there. So, so I'm which a huge fan of true. Kendrick mm -hmm. Lamar, but I also jam to a lot of French Montana. So I love both of them. I can't even say this one has more hits or not. I know they've both made me happy um, they, at some point in my life. Vibe. And I don't think I'll ever get bored listening to Kendrick. Okay, really quick one. Oh, without, we're not going to spend time on it because okay. it's not part of the topic. Beyonce but or Rihanna. better be good. Beyonce or Rihanna. Our producer says Rihanna. Maybe we should end it there. <laughs> let's let's keep our own opinion to ourselves. Mm. I agree. That's hard. Okay. Rihanna. Should we go? Rihanna. Okay. Okay. It's time for a break. But when we come back, we definitely have so much hot topics to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. An opinion article written by Vera Chidi Maha has an interesting line of question. Who makes a better wife, urban or rural wife? In her article, she shared the story of a doctor who took his time to flirt, date, smash and have fun with urban ladies and nurses around his dwelling and work area. But when it was time to get married, the doctor traveled to his village to pick a rural wife. So the question 
Um, so this conversation hopes to understand why a man would prefer getting married to a rural lady rather than pick a lady from the city. We would love to get your opinion as well. So send yours via SMS to 090, sorry, via WhatsApp to 090 Please WhatsApp only. Don't try to call the number and we'll definitely take your opinion. If I, this is a tricky one because I think it's um, based on what you want. As a man, you need to know what you want. So I'm not thinking about it from the angle of... Um, Maybe if I marry a girl from the village, so what, maybe. Sorry, what would you think a man who would have done everything I've said, you know, that you've done in the city would want that makes him go to the village, village to go and pick? I, I think um, loyalty. Loyalty. Mm. So very... urban ladies don't have loyalty? No, um, loyalty to the tribe, to the roots. <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry, I'm supposed loyalty, to be like, why are you Loyalty doing is broad. This? It's, very, it's a very ambiguous um, word when it comes to this context. So mm. I think loyalty in terms of everything. Oh, loyalty. wait, like from the woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what, yeah. what did you think she was okay, talking about? From himself, like he was uh, loyal to Igbo land or you're loyal to Yoruba land or something. So he wants No, like she a, said, what would do I think a, a woman would do? So right, right, right. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Oh. So I think it's loyalty, the fact that... Um, I saw, I saw, I saw different comments on this one. I, this is that's why I said it's a very tricky one. But left to me, I don't think that I would want. To, it's about what I want. It's about when you find what you want, you would know it. So if I go to the village and I happen to meet a nice girl, and I can converse intellectually with you, hmm. and we have a level of reasoning, and we can live a good life, I really don't care where you're from. It's about my happiness at the end of the day. I don't think these people in question are wondering about intellectual And it's condition. not an I arranged think... wedding as well. And it's not that it is mandatory for me Wait, to and marry the this girl. Probably your response is that it's not... Yeah, yeah, uh, I wanted to know what the mindset is. What could possibly be the mindset of someone who thinks that a woman in the rural area would be better than oh, one trust issues. Have reality. Trust, yeah, so don't have trust issues as well. Why do you, like, what do you mean? You feel like, okay, when this girl is really... Um, well traveled when she's seen it or when she has a particular taste and it, it's a bit of some, so it's, men it's a bit feel, of lack of confidence so in men, men as well small do you understand they yes they feel less it's a, i feel like yeah. a man who is confident wouldn't even have to go anywhere wherever you meet your wife even this if she's the professor if she has a phd if she has a master's degree you should your confidence level should be able to match hers and that's what will keep the relationship this is going. my theory so before I, you bring okay. your theory sorry there was a time this conversation came up not on this table like way back with me and some people and one of the things they said um was body count so do you think that plays any role as well? I think it kind of plays roles as well because um, you don't want to get a lot of men too. It's also part of confidence. <laughs> do not want to get married to a woman. And they'll be like, oh, I, I, but he I, I, can I was do there. What? But he, he can, can have be, like No one is counting our bodies. Wow. Like, well, you no, see, no that's one a really can. unfortunate. You see, that my, my theory is actually tied to that. I think um, there is a problem, an underlying problem with men uh, in general, but a lot of them are in Nigeria. They packed, they made them here and they shipped them out. <laughs> one thing I've, I've noticed with the idea of sex, I think it's a sexual thing for me, mm -hmm. um, is that men think that when they have sex with a person then they are devaluing that person mm -hmm. mm. which is weird because then what does that make you the a devaluer anyway different conversation a devalued person De but yeah the de devaluer because you're devaluing people mm. don't steal my conversation this is mine please <laughs> so own it sis <laughs> so um there is a problem with that mindset but like i said different conversation if you then assume that you're in an environment where devaluing women is easy there's already a higher chance that you don't trust these people because you think a lot of other people are devouring you. And have you never she noticed devours. how people think that if, they, if they've had sex with you, then they think you've had sex with everybody else because mm -hmm. it's loose of you to agree to that person. So now everybody's carrying that mindset and that means that Lagos girls, in, on the larger scale of things, if I'm taking Lagos as a, as a characteristic now... For urban. Yeah, for yeah. urban. Lagos girls are more loose. So then going to a place where it's harder to have women who sleep around and it's on promiscuity is not like promoted like it is in Lagos and there's a higher chance that, that I'm was keeping in the someone past though. This that's is pure, cop, of course. Really? <laughs> <laughs> like, of course. I think that's it's the same article. There was a lady who went to the village and somebody gave her a soap for something that city girls are doing now. Yeah. Do you understand? So I think it's really, it's, it's a complicated situation. Yeah. Also for me. me, I think one of the things that um, plays in this situation is power dynamics. So they want to still feel, they feel like if they stay with a woman that's well-traveled, like you said, or 
exposed exposure. and uh, yeah exposure they feel like she 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 has a mind of her own already she can't be really manipulated mm. she knows what she wants she will stand up to you to tell you no or yes They're this is how we should headache. do it mm. yeah too much headache they for them submission. they can't handle Let's just yeah, say submission, submission yeah. is what they want okay so I, I think another thing that I thought you were saying earlier was, which is maybe the only positive sort of um, reason it could that possibly be. That still don't be. make sense because I that's think it does. I think it does to me. Where one? like the person maybe wants to go and marry from the village because they're tribe. more culturally um, aligned with um, that yeah, culture. Yeah, I think I've, I've seen guys that I've met guys that their train of thought, you know, that yeah, me and this one girl, cannot align. You have to go and find someone who is <laughs> grounded in tradition so that the person there's can understand you. Wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine yeah. but i think that's the only reason on this table now i'm comfortable with but every other reason yeah. i think men need to grow up and yeah. become um, better men become better men yeah be, yes, be man be, yeah. be a man i think i think it's, men, it's all about it your happiness at the end of the day i'm really not concerned whether it's a rural okay. girl or urban girl as long mm. as you're happy that's all that matters all right um think about your decision basically and do what makes you happy right mm -hmm. all right moving on to another hot topic so yesterday a female twitter user called out a male twitter user the lady said she introduced the guy to her friends and he went behind her back to smash and dump both of them they just realized they've been used so she felt the need to call out the guy because he had refused to pick their calls nor return messages sent to him in his response one of his tweets um read and i quote something happened online and you are bringing it to twitter some of your girls are unnecessary stupid all your friends wanted to play with my dreads and i gave them the dress willingly end of quote he also did not deny the accusation as he tried to downplay the situation with the help of his number of followers and supporters so the question is why do guys lead ladies on is it a weakness is there a high to the lies are they mentally challenged okay. I, feel lush, okay. I have um <laughs> like i have a few questions on this topic Okay. Now, she said your MCM, right, your man crush, right? That is, she did not specify whether she was dating or she wasn't dating this guy. She's not. No, she's not. She's she not, specified right? it, yeah. All right. So, secondly, did the guy force himself on any of the ladies? I believe not. Because no, he, he looks... tricked the ladies. He, like, lured them into thinking that this was love. This was a relationship. And I love you. And then they give what their bodies. What gave you that impression? Did then... they say that's that? That's the story. That's what we know. That's the story. That's what she texted. And she, he did not deny it. He was just trying yeah. to play around conversations and act, oh, I was okay, a cool then, guy. That's, I was that's, used that's, as well. That's, that's the that's, gist. Okay. Yeah, why is gist. it that? Because she even mentioned in the, in the calling him out that, why didn't you just outrightly say you wanted to have sex? That was, that's the cocoa of the matter. And why and are you, they going you know all the way to make that effort? Is but it mental disorder? But is it that um, at this time and age, ladies don't know when they're being played anymore? Like wow. you're a grown really? woman. No, really, you don't are. Don't make it a lady thing. You know what? It, it, it feels like mean, you're saying we should keep walking around and it, hoping that every guy that says hi is out to play yes. us. Yes, one. No. And so, so we should move around. I just think that men don't get deceived or lured. Have you never been Wait, in a situation? I saw, I, saw, I saw it from another angle that, okay, what if you are the victim here? What if you are the one that was objectified and used in this dumb? case? This that's case not, not now. But, 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 but you know what? No, I didn't see the tweet has been taken down. I didn't follow it. So I didn't see the tweet. So I just saw the conversation. So maybe you guys should give me the food. Let's leave this story away from this story this is just like what would they say power time i'm not going so to answer that until i get why this because it's this is not the, about this, this is people. the backbone it's of just, the of no, no, no. So no this is in general has this not happened before this um, story maybe you should okay, have okay take so, okay 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 so what's your question I th why do men what why do men go all the way to, to lure lead. the woman and then finally have sex with her but you've given her that like love vibes but then after the sex you go why don't you just be either straightforward and honest and get straight to the point. I think there's 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 something about when you get what you want. It's like when through deceit. <clears throat> yeah, it's like when um, Eve gave Adam the apple, then they realized they were blind. That's how sex is to a lot of men too. So at this point, you're thinking like, oh, she's the most beautiful woman in the world. But you know, there's something about sex that is very dirty and nasty. It can be very dirty and nasty as well. So as soon as that is done and dusted, you're like, okay, she's not really, you start seeing her in a different light. That happens a lot. Mm -hmm. That doesn't yes. answer the question. So it's part of the reason why you might actually be honest with your 
with your uh, what's it called now with your approach towards the lady but after you've gotten what you were after or maybe that wasn't right. even what you were after so he's saying that that's not the that's not what that no, must not be the plan. intention at yeah. first then but then at the end of the day that happens, like, why okay, is it that you pull up bad it's not even like this as well. that's you the problem because off. i was going to get there i'm now saying that it is the way you communicated to the lady that look i'm not doing again like i'm not feeling this vibe now i have so much reply we are taking this hot topic again and i think tomorrow we are taking it again and if i get your points ready and that's how i wrap up this episode of tea time thank you for watching and of course if you man will give us all her take tomorrow join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or twitter at us as plus plus tv africa remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel our plus tv africa you can also watch tea time on auto tv and in london on ben television thank you as always we go to my co-anchor is fair or my and if you wash okay and the entire production team thank you for watching tea time my name is Elsie godwin please stay safe and stay home